Hey guys. Well, what I want to share with you, excuse the sun there, is I just uh, experienced a Target tragedy. I just got out of Target. Uh, I picked up uh, health bars that I like to eat with my bananas. And in front of me was a young couple. It looked like a young married couple, very nice looking couple. And they had a cart full of rugs, paintings, uh, house decor items. So it either looked like they just purchased their home or they were doing extra decoration for their home as maybe it was their first time hosting Thanksgiving or whatever. But they bought about $400 worth of home decor stuff, just knickknacks. They don't really have any purpose or function. They're mainly for decoration. Now, I did that when I first bought my home uh, and many years after doing many re re uh, renovations. And also when I've uh, hosted certain parties, whether it's for a holiday or not, I, I put extra effort and extra money into making it look nice for other people to enjoy. And the bottom line is they spent about $400. The cash register lady rang them up. She put it on a credit card and the credit card was denied. And what I noticed as she inserted her credit card into the machine was she had a very nice diamond ring, an engagement ring on her finger. So they had nice uh, outfits on. She had a beautiful engagement ring. I saw it glistening. Just like me, I had fancy jewelry too. And she's buying all this nice home decor. If you would ever go on her house, see her wedding ring, see her home decor, see her outfit, you would think they're doing great. But their credit card got declined and they can't afford $400. I've been there. Houses bring on debt. In many times, especially as you try to dress them up and make them look nice, especially when you try to host holidays or other events. In addition, it's a mindset. It's a mindset of overspending. Don't overspend for the holidays or anything else. Don't overspend on an outfit for the holidays or anything else. Going in debt, overspending just to impress people will hurt you. That's it. So I don't say this in judgment of you. I said this is one I used to do this. I had a fancy car. I had a fancy house. I had all the fancy fixings. I had all the fancy jewelry and I was in debt. And even years later when I could finally afford all that stuff, I finally got beat up enough by life. I said, man, I don't want to just work to, to have things to make other people say, man, this, this guy really made it. Instead, I'd rather live a simple life and have peace and joy. And when I go to the register, I don't have that worry in my mind. Is this card going to clear? I've been there where that credit card got declined. Even the cash register lady, she tried to comfort them and said, don't worry, I, I've had this happen to me before. And my heart had tremendous sorrow and compassion because I've been there before. So again, I am not shaming them or anyone else who can relate. But this is a reminder. Do not overspend for the holidays, whether it is on home decor goods or whether it's on clothing. Be you. Be you without the debt. Be you without the overspending. Again, everyone is not meant to live out of their car. But even if you're going to have a house, have a house that is living within your means. Don't overspend on paintings, on furniture, on towels, on everything else. Don't overspend on a new dress, on a new piece of jewelry or whatever for the holidays because it's going to hurt you long term, mentally, financially, and that'll manifest physically because then you're going to overeat to compensate for the pain of overspending. I've been down that vicious cycle. That was a, tr a target tragedy. When I saw that happen just a few moments ago in, in Target, my heart, my heart just, I, I felt for them. But what can you say? You can't say anything because they have to experience it just like I had to experience, just like everyone else has to experience it. But hopefully we wake up before it's too late. Hopefully God's grace gives us the opportunity to regroup. We consolidate, we refocus our life, we simplify it, and we when we get seduced again into overspending, because it can happen to all of us, even me, we remember the pain, not in judgment of ourselves and not to shame ourselves, but to keep going forward, living a simplistic life, however you define it for you. I'm living my own life. I want you to live your own life. But I wanted to share that target tragedy and the tremendous sorrow that overspending causes 
family member. And I even saw them arguing a little bit. Like the like the husband was like, oh, we should have waited till, you know, uh, uh, Black Friday when stuff is on sale. You know, now we're, you spent too much. And, and it, caused, it caused contention within their relationship. And that's the thing, that unhealthy behavior manifests beyond just the overspending. It goes into the relationship, then it goes into overeating, then it goes into psychological problems, then it goes into self-confidence problems, etc., etc. It's a vicious cycle. Be mindful. Don't overspend. Live simple. Stay inspired.